Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. TASS, which is a Russian news agency, has reported that Rosmon Export, part of Rostec State Corporation, is holding consultations with New Delhi on upgrading India's T-90 Bison MBTs. Indian Army currently operates 2078 T-90 Bison and the order of another 464 is there in the pipeline. They form the backbone of Indian Armoured Unit. However, there are some serious issues and important upgrades required in order to make it on par with Chinese and Pakistan's main battle tanks, regarding which we will be discussing in today's video. To begin with, let's go a little back in the history and try to understand why T-90 Bison was acquired by Indian Army. In August 1996, Pakistan decided to buy 320 T-80 UD tanks from Ukraine for $650 million. This propelled Indian Army to procure T-90 Bison to have an upper edge over Pakistan without even properly testing it in the Indian conditions. When T-90 Bison was operated in the extreme hot condition of Thar Desert, it was noticed that the critical components started to fail. When the dust entered the fire control system, it destroyed the circuits which clearly shows that T-90 Bison was not tested enough in the desert conditions. Further, T-90's thermal imaging sites through which tank aims its 125mm gun proved unable to function in Indian summer temperatures. The Bison originally came with no night capabilities. Indian Army had to install thermal imaging equipment from France. However, the French electronics also started failing and the stalwarts of Indian Army started installing air conditioned units on Bism. Even with those, electronics kept on failing. In contrary, the American Abrams and the British Challenger tank fought in Iraq desert without air conditioning. India's Arjun tank too has hardened electronics that function perfectly even in Rajasthan summer. Last month, Pakistan has formally inducted Chinese VT-4 battle tanks for the offensive role. We have made a detailed comparison between VT-4 and T-90 Bison and the link for the same can be found under the description section. The main feature of VT-4 tank which makes it far superior than Indian T-90 Bison is the active protection system. It has GL5 active protection system which integrates four fire control radars with a detection range of approximately 100 meter. This helps tank to destroy any incoming tank and anti-tank ammunition from a distance of 100 meters. It is mounted on its roof and offers a high level of protection against main battle tanks, armored vehicles, anti-tank guided missiles and anti-tank weapons. Overall, it greatly improves the survivability of tanks in a hostile condition. T-90 Bison lacks APS. Therefore, the one upgrade that Indian Army must be doing is to install APS system on T-90 Bison. Apart from that, there are several inherent problems with T-90 Bison. It does not have Storak electronic countermeasure system which is there in Russian T-90 version. There are also problems reported related to fuel tank, auxiliary power unit and the air conditioning. The proof of the inherent problems with T-90 Bison was wide open in broad daylight during Bathlon conducted in Russia in 2017. India has sent two tanks in the competition. The fan belt snapped in the first tank after which the second tank was deployed for the race but its entire engine oil leaked. Now that we know the problem with T-90 Bison, should India accept the Russian offer to upgrade? My response would be absolutely not. The Russians are known for selling cheap military hardware and then the buyer ends up paying more than the original price in its maintenance. Instead, the indigenous capability gained with the development of urgent tanks should be incorporated to fix the issues with T-90 Bism. And the most important of all the upgrade is the APS system to improve the survivability of the tanks. 
DRDO is already working on developing indigenous active protection measures. However, it will still take two to three years for its developmental trial. It is time for the Ministry of Defense to prioritize its development as APS is going to be the most critical feature of any futuristic main battle tank. And this is something we definitely don't want to buy from foreign players as we need to mature it and keep updating as per the changing warfare scenarios. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.